As I was writing my book for W.W. W. Norton Company called, it was called The Case Against Immigration, the Jordan Commission came out with its recommendations and its recommendations were almost exactly the same as the recommendations that I was writing my book. Far less immigration, no illegal immigration, and far less legal immigration, and a future in which American workers who, as President Clinton always said, worked hard and played by the rules, could live a middle class lifestyle. People can understand that when illegal labor comes into a certain job market, wages go down. Legal workers lose their jobs. U.S. citizens use their, lose their jobs and authorized aliens lose their jobs. Uh, this is not that complicated. You can go to many businesses on Hilton Head on Friday afternoon and in the parking lot you will see a number of people waiting around the truck and one person will go in and cash their check and cash a check five six seven thousand dollars and come back and distribute the money to the workers because they pay them in cash they don't write checks and they don't pay them by checks and I believe that that is another advantage to being able to work illegally in the United States that you don't have the requirements that the uh, American business has. If you bring in lots of unskilled workers, most of those workers can find jobs, but there are consequences to that. And one of the consequences is higher unemployment and lower labor force participation uh, among less educated workers. One of the consequences is fewer uh, employers will pay a decent wage or will offer benefits. Why do they have to? The middle class is disappearing thanks to these people that are bringing these illegals and they're putting displacing Americans out of jobs and it's not only it's not only low-skilled labor I mean you have Bill Gates asking for more H-1B visas what is happening in the United States in many places in the United States is we're simply losing our middle class so you have the very rich uh, and you have the very poor who tend to be immigrants and the only interaction between the two classes there in, in society is when the poor people come to work for the rich people uh, come and clean their homes tend to their gardens take care of their kids perhaps that is not a healthy society and there's actually been lies about this lies that the president continuing saying that uh, immigration is because America uh, their jobs for America won't do what a blatant lie even in agriculture one of the degrees of high immigrant participation we find that Still, 44% of, of agricultural workers are American. The big corporations don't want us to know the dark side of illegal immigration. They just want you to know, oh, they're doing jobs that Americans won't do. Again, don't finish this. they don't finish this in, in deplorable conditions for less than minimum wage or half of the wages that they use. So they used to pay the chicken workers the processing plant about 15 bucks an hour now they're getting eight it has undercut the wages of ordinary um, um, low-paid Americans some of whom are minorities uh, black Americans uh, some of whom are, um, are not but low-paid Americans have seen their wages uh, either fall uh, or rise less quickly than they would have done without immigration I believe this has had a devastating effect on the black workforce on Hilton Head Island I know my own personal experience has had a devastating effect on my and my business and my son's business and our ability to work on Hilton Head Island or in Beaufort County. And, and it's not because we're lazy. It's not because that we're not qualified. It's just that we cannot compete with a large illegal labor force. We just can't do it. At this point, 40% of working age black American men are not in the workforce 40 percent. A recent study by a consortium of universities led by Harvard has found that about 40 percent of the decline in black workforce participation in the last decade has been because of higher immigration both legal and illegal. So it's a 40-40. 40 percent of black American men are not in the workforce and 40% of the decline over the last decade is caused by immigration. I can't think of a more racist thing that's happened in the last 20 years. So the question arises is 
should immigrants, are immigrant workers more worthy than American workers, or American workers if they're African American, or if they're poor, with long histories of suffering from discrimination, of suffering from second class citizenship, of suffering from other things. Do we justify giving immigrant and often non-citizen workers preference over our own? I have lived through the oppression from slavery. I've lived through segregation, Jim Crow law, integration, and now what bothers me the most is I'm having to live through illegal immigration and the impact, impact that that is having on the black community. It seems that there, there are people out there that really want to destroy the very fabric that upon this, what this country was made up of. Illegal immigration is, has been a great vehicle to do that.